Construction workers in Africa's biggest economy are threatening to down their tools next week if an amicable agreement is not arrived at by the end of business today. The National Union of Mine Workers, which represents more than 90,000 construction workers, says employees are being unrealistic with an offer to raise wages by 6% against a workers' demand of 14%. South Africa seems to be well into strike season with auto union workers having down their tools early in the week and miners threatening to do the exact same thing next week after wage talks and mining firms failed. We are always hesitant to strike. We don't want to strike. We want to use the strike action as the last resort. And unfortunately, we believe and our members believe that the employers have pushed them so uh, too far and that we must now hit them hard, show them that, look, uh, we, we are not prepared to take anything simply because we want stability. We want stability, but we must also get paid. Still in South Africa, the city of Cape Town is rapidly building a reputation as a hothouse for new cell phone tech. Dozens of young developers are competing to come up with the latest must-have app for your phone. One, however, could get the country talking altogether. CCTV's Travis Andrews has the details. Few South Africans live without a cell phone these days, and they provide a ready-made market for Cape Town's app developers. Glenn Steen has already created several. For this latest idea, though, the 24-year-old thinks he's hit the right button. An app that instantly translates each of South Africa's 11 official languages. It's quite simple. Uh, you, you take the phone out, you select the language you want to translate from, the language you want to translate to, and then you choose from a list of phrases, and, and then each phrase you select you, gives you the, the, the translation, which you can then hear as an audio. At the click of a mouse, the young developer furnishes his app with various pronunciations and translations. A simple enough idea, like an internet tech phrase book, but in a country with so many different languages, a that could make a lot of sense. A very useful tool in helping South Africans better understand each other. I think that this app it has a lot of relevance in, in today's society in South Africa, where, the, where there are 11 official languages and as a result, there, a lot of people experience communication barriers um, based on, on, on all these languages. And so the, the aim is really to, to break down those, those language barriers and, and encourage communication between people from, from different cultures. Awares are just one of scores of apps under development here, from retinal scanners to shopping applications. We have some great innovations apps that um, help people save energy like Homebug um, and apps that really are very interactive with their users. It's an industry that shows no sign of slowing down. All it takes to create a good app is a little talent and a lot of ideas. And this city is full of both. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town. Now, there's a broad streak of losses right across the markets that we track here for you in African Life, except, however, for one, and that's in Nigeria. The all-share index is in the green in early trade, up about six-tenths. However, completely different story in South Africa. The all-share index in the red, down by about a third. The 20-share index in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, also lower by a similar margin. Today being a Friday, of course, the Egyptian market is closed for the day. We'll have a better update of those numbers at 1700 GMT. See you then. Right now, though, on to the athletics and sports with Beatrice. Rama, thank you very much indeed. The sports coming up next. Your headline.